everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so excited you all are here today today i wanted to show you a low point lunch or dinner option i have not made this before so i'm super excited to try it with you guys i have been obsessed with lemongrass chicken and i am trying to get back on track here i've been struggling to get back on track i do want to get back on program here and try to lose a little bit more weight just to feel a little bit more comfortable in my skin for some reason i lost a lot of weight and i got really comfortable with that weight and now I'm starting to feel a little bit heavy again at that weight and so I want to try to drop a little bit more just to get into a healthy range. I feel really good with where I'm at especially considering where I was but I wouldn't mind losing a little bit more weight. My plan is to be able to get back on track and be able to encourage you guys if you're looking for some healthy high protein meal ideas. So today I'm going to try some lemongrass chicken. I used to eat lemongrass chicken all the time because I was just obsessed with it but I would eat out all the time and so I'm sure that was extremely high in points and I think I found an alternative that's lower in point. So let me show you. I found this lemongrass stir fry sauce. It's supposed to be spicy, which I really like, and it's only 20 calories per tablespoon, which comes to one point a tablespoon. You can have three tablespoons for two points. This whole bottle is 18 points. So I imagine I'll end up using this whole bottle. So I'll just divide however many servings I have by 18, and we'll see how it tastes. For this recipe, you're gonna need half of an onion, one whole thing florets, is that what it's called? A broccoli. I have some shrimp, and I just happen to have this much shrimp. I don't really know how much this is, but this much shrimp. <laughs> or chicken, or whatever kind of protein you want to use. I looked up how much protein is in shrimp, and for three ounces of shrimp, it's 20 grams of protein, so that was actually higher than I expected. Just for an example, three ounces of chicken has 20 grams of protein, and I honestly just always thought the chicken had more protein than shrimp, but shrimp does have a pretty good amount of protein. So I'm gonna start by making my rice. And in case you're super new to cooking, rice is always one to one, sorry. Rice is always one to two. So we'll do one cup of rice with two cups of water. And then we'll just let that simmer while we cook the rest of our food. And then I'm gonna turn my stove on high, spray our pan with avocado spray. I love avocado spray. So I just get this kind. I normally get it from Costco just cause I use it so much, but I got this one at Target cause that's where I was today. Love it, 0.0, .0 calories. We'll add our half of an onion, and then we'll just let that cook for now. And I'll be back once those are cut. Onions are cooking. I'm gonna show you what I did with my shrimp. So I cut my shrimp up into pieces, and I'm just gonna dab it with a towel so you get some of the moisture out. I'm actually going to add the towel there and then just add the shrimp there and we'll just dab it so that some of the moisture comes out so then when it cooks there's not so much moisture in the pan all right so we have our onions are starting to cook and we're just going to add our shrimp We'll just let this saute. I'll let you know how it, long it takes, but I imagine about five-ish minutes. We'll let that cook at a low simmer. All right, so if you can see through the steam here, you can see how there's like water everywhere. If you don't dab your shrimp with a towel, it will be even more. And I've had it even where it's like filling up in the Pan just because it's so much water. So I'm just stirring it occasionally so that it can get done on all sides. Just let that cook a little longer. decided impulsively to add water chestnuts because I love the crunch of water chestnuts. I'm just going to add some of those as well while this is cooking so that it gets stir fried as well. And these are the water chestnuts that I use just so you know what 
Just a small can of water chestnuts. Right, now that those have sauteed really good, I'm gonna throw in my broccoli. And then add about a fourth of a cup of chicken broth. And then we'll add the cover to it and just let it steam for a little bit. All right, so I sauteed the shrimp and onions for about five minutes. And then I steamed the broccoli for about five minutes. And now I'm gonna add the sauce in and steam it for another five minutes. So I'm gonna use half the container here. It'll be nine points for this whole thing. I'm gonna put the cover on and we'll steam it for another five minutes and I think it's done. And our rice is over here, it's finished cooking. I'm gonna take about half a cup of rice. All right, we have half a cup of rice. And then I'm gonna scoop up some of this yummy deliciousness and get the sauce in it too. I probably would add more broccoli next time just because I love broccoli so much. I could even add it in there, I guess. But here we go. Look at so yummy. I'm so excited. I just finished and it was so good, you guys. So I calculated the points out. It's 18 points for the whole bottle. So I ended up using about three-fourths of the bottle instead of half of the bottle. So I accounted for three-fourths of it. And it came to 13 and a half points. I divided that by three because I ate one-third of the pan. And that is four and a half points. So I'm just going to round to five to be safe. And then I had half of a cup of rice, which is three points. So it's eight points for the whole thing. Which, when I think about other foods, that does make sense. And it was so worth it it was not too spicy so if you do see that seasoning in the store and you're worried about spice i would say it was a very mild spice it had a little kick but nothing that i would say was like too spicy i honestly wouldn't even say spicy like it just was flavor <laughs> granted i really like spicy things so maybe take that with a grain of salt but for me at least it was mostly just flavor is what i noticed so I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being here. You can see that here, my kids are laughing in the background. Thank you so much for being here. It means so much to have you all here. And my goal is to encourage and inspire all of you. And so I just am so grateful you show up every day for me and just support me and my family. So if you could, please subscribe down below, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.